Greetings traders, D7 here with FreeTradingVideos.com. Markets drop just as expected. And as you see here, down 2.7% on the Dow. NASDAQ down over 3%, S&P 3%, Russell's. Lost the most at 3.4%. Russell's does, I mean, it's very volatile. There's a lot of moving. Big drop there. The VIX popped up over 40. We're at 43. So, did this surprise us? No. For all those that were watching yesterday, this is what we saw here on the S&P daily chart. Broad markets. Very important to look at the broad markets. You can look at the Dow, NASDAQ, uh, Russell's, Wilshire's. I mean, you look at anyone you want to. I look at the S&P, it gives me what I feel is the best barometer out there to um, have a, an idea of what's happening out there in the markets as a whole. Remember yesterday we said we went up one, two, three, four, five, so we are extended to the upside, hitting our head at resistance, that we should expect a pullback, and sure enough, we got it today with a big drop, and we said that the rising moving averages should act as support, and they did just that. They're acting as support. Our next support area is going to be this trend line right here, which will happen to be right at 900 on the SPX. So if the S&P gets to 900, it should find some support there. So what am I thinking is going to happen? Well, we should get a bounce. <laughs> See this? Now, today was such a sell-off that it would not surprise me if we close lower than this lower than this right here if we close lower than this trend line which will put us at the 20 and the 50 day moving averages the 20 and the 50 day moving averages are our only hope for some support but chances are if we break that line we're going to pop through those two and i could see us right down here 875 or lower pretty fast so that's what I'm expecting another down day tomorrow but we could hang up here a day before we continue to drop but my gut feeling is we're gonna break through this and we should head down a little bit so um, so we'll see if that happens if we do get down here buying opportunity but if we do see some support here and we make a higher high um, on Friday could be a, buy, a buying opportunity to see us head up yet again. So um, it'd be really nice to see some bullish activity tomorrow or Thursday. And if so, that means we still have some legs in it. But if we do not see that and we start breaking down, the question is where will we stop? And I think that we'll stop at the either the 20 or 50 day, uh, but more realistic will be down here at the 875 mark, this lower trend line, which happens to be this swing low too. So there you have it. Till next time, we'll catch you at freetrainvideos.com and always, always, always trade with a stop loss.